Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an exciting video. I'm doing a unboxing, review and demo on the Graco Cradle Me carrier. So Graco actually reached out to me and wanted to send me this carrier for free. This video is not sponsored. I'm not paid in any way to make this video or to say anything about it. But they saw my video that I did on Ava's car seat, which is the Graco Forever Deluxe 4-in-1 car seat, and said they wanted to send me this over to try and maybe do a video on if I wanted to. But this is what it looks like. It is called the Graco Cradle Me 4-in-1 carrier now you're probably thinking you don't have a newborn why do you need a carrier yeah i don't have a newborn ava is she is 15 months old and she grew out of her carrier that we had for her super quick but the reason why this one is so good is because you can wear it on the back up to i think 30 pounds but we're going to get into that and i thought that was incredible ava is at the stage where she wants to walk but can't walk for long periods of time she also won't sit in her stroller for long periods of time or she wants to be carried <laughs> so hopefully this will give me another option for when we're out and about and she doesn't want to walk she doesn't want to be in her stroller um but she's heavy she weighs 25 pounds wearing her on my back might be the next best thing for me um so i'm gonna go through all of these different ways of wearing it straight out of the box haven't used it yet i have absolutely no idea how to use it so we're gonna see how easy it is to put on and understand and yeah go through the different modes and i got it in the color mineral gray so it just says here on the side that the kratom has a privacy shield and sun protection um, the whole thing is breathable mesh with all season shield. It has customizable parent comfort, um, adjustable baby comfort, and it has built in instruction visuals. And included with this, included accessories, is organic bibs and harness cover and an integrated newborn seat. So let's get straight into what this looks like. So, this is everything that you get inside the box so you have the carrier itself and then you have these things which i'm not sure what they are um we will see and then you get the owner's manual of course as well so i'm just going to kind of go through the instruction booklet um first we have the parts list so these things that i was showing you are the bibs oh that's cool okay so you got two bibs and then these two are the harness covers just to make it a little bit softer on their skin, I suppose. And then you have the actual carrier itself. And it looks like the sun shield is actually built in to it. Cool. Okay, we'll get to that in a bit. Um, so basically you have the four stages that this can be worn are the facing in newborn seat. And that is from birth to four months, roughly eight pounds to 15 pounds. And then we have the facing in baby seat, which is from four months plus, And that can be from 15 to 30 pounds. So it looks like Ava will actually be able to do the facing in baby seat, which is great. And then you have the facing outward baby seat, which is six months plus from 20 to 30 pounds. And then you have the back carry baby seat, which is from nine months plus um, between 25 and 35 pounds. So we should be able to do three of those settings. So that is great. So I'm going to go through each of the modes and we're going to see how easy this is to actually do. So I might just move you down a little bit. Okay, hopefully that will give you a better view. But we're going to start off with the newborn mode with the integrated newborn seat. Okay, so here is the front of the carrier. So then you have these two buttons here, and since for the newborn um, facing mode, you're basically making it a little bit smaller. And then you have these hooks down here as well, and you want to secure both of these hooks on both sides to the buttons. So that was a little bit fiddly, but that is basically what it did. It just brought this whole section upwards. And then it says to fasten the leg hold adjustment button to adjust the leg opening to the smallest comfortable size. I'll tell you what, the other carrier that I had definitely didn't have all of these buttons and stuff. So from that point of view, it was easier. The leg opening adjustment um, button is that little flap right there. And that is the leg opening adjustment thing. So we're supposed to strap that or secure that in there. Let's do that, which that just seems very strange but um fasten shoulder strap adjustment buckle and put thread put your head through opening with back 
buckle landing on your back. Okay, front. And then this is the back buckle, so it attaches behind your back. Fasten the waist support buckle, so at the bottom you have this secure. So these are the magnetic shoulder buckles. They just come right off. So you would open that, place your baby in, and then... That was easy. They definitely attach very easily, way easier than my other carrier. The, the other one you had to um, like clasp on. So these are the leg buckles, so they would have their little leg coming out of there. And then you would secure that, and then your baby would be sitting comfortably in there. So, okay, the privacy shield and sun protection. So this is the head support flap so we can open this up and if you wanted more head support you would then secure it take it out of these ones and then put it in the top one and that would then keep that flap up and then there is a little pocket right there and out comes how cool <laughs> out comes your sun shield that is amazing Fasten the sunshade straps to the snap-on carrier. Here is the sun protection snaps. So you have all of these. I'm gonna put it on the tightest one. It's actually really easy to do, like you wouldn't need someone else to help you with that. And then that protects your little one from the sun if they fall asleep or if there is just too much sun exposure. Incredible. And then there is a all-season shield unroll the weather shield from the pocket at the bottom of the carrier when needed so there's something at the bottom <gasps> so that just came out of this little the waist part oh and then it has the instructions on it so it protects the whole thing oh this this carrier just gets more and more cool so you would use these lower ones because in the newborn mode it is smaller and then you would attach it up here i believe that's what i'm understanding from this and it just protects the carrier so for the infant facing in mode which is the next one up from the newborn and the one that ava should be able to actually use no adjustment buttons are required for facing in baby seat so i've just opened up all those buttons and then i'm going to open those leg straps as well as we tight tied them here there we go okay and then you pull on these to secure these straps and then you pull on this one and this one to secure the waist belt probably didn't wear the best shirt to show that but oh well so for the infant facing in mode fasten the shoulder strap and put your head through like i did the first time fasten the waist support buckle so these just go on they pop right on and then to remove them you just press that. Fasten the leg buckles and adjust the appropriate size. The leg buckles, because their legs go in this hole. And then you adjust it using these straps. Now it's ready to use in infant facing mode. And I'm just gonna roll this top part down again. So let's move on to the infant facing outwards mode. Loop button hooks one around the center adjustment buttons. You want to put these top blue hooks around the center buttons, which are these ones. Carrier is now ready to use in the infant facing out mode, but check, make sure that the child's legs fall in the end position as recommended by the International Hip Dysplasia Institute. And that is what it means by that. Okay, so now let's get to the back carry mode. This is what I am most interested in. Start with the child in carrier facing inwards. Okay, so we need to put it in the inward facing mode, which means just taking those two hooks off. So I'm gonna pretend she's in there. Um, with one hand at a time, loosen both shoulder straps. With the left hand cradling the child, slide your right arm out of the shoulder strap. Slide the left arm under the shoulder adjustment strap. Baby, and then with your left hand, you're moving the entire thing. So you're holding the child with your left arm and you're gonna loop your right shoulder strap. Hold the child with your right arm and look your left arm through the shoulder strap. These are the bibs and you get two of them. So it has these holes on it and you put those through. 
the holes on the bib. These two parts has Velcro. So you just wrap it round and Velcro it on. And then fold it down. And now you have a built-in bib that you can just take off and throw in the wash at the end of the day. I'm impressed. And then the harness covers, which are these two. When you're not using this, you just do the same thing. You just wrap it around the straps right there. So that is it for my little demonstration part. And like I said, when Ava wakes up, I will do um, all the modes I can with her. See how easy it is to actually do with a baby. But the Graco Baby Cradle Me 4-in-1 Carrier has 4.8 stars out of 5 and over 1,800 reviews. But it goes for $130. Um, a little bit more expensive than the other carrier that I had. But this one, the back wearing feature, like not many have that feature. And also with the sun protection, privacy shield, the built-in bib, all that stuff, it's worth that price just because it is sort of high tech. Very, very useful. I absolutely love it. Now I am going to insert the footage of when Ava wakes up and we are actually trying this. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy that. Ava woke up from her nap. Did you wake up in a good mood? Are you gonna help me? Yeah. You gonna be a part of this? Yeah? Uh, <laughs> you seem way too big to be in this, but we're gonna try. All right, put the baby um, under one strap. Can you give me the sun? Good job. Leg straps. There's one. And there's two. There we go. Hey, hey, look at that. Now I'm going to put it inward facing. Was it for inward facing that had to be closed or for outward? It was for outward. So yes, that I should have closed that thing if you remember. All right. Well, hello. It's been a long time since I carried you like this, haven't it? Alright, and... Okay, can you give me this arm? Alright, so there is the inward facing. She's so big, I can't get over how much she's grown. Um, it's very, very comfortable. I can move around, she feels very secure. Do you like it? You can't reach your mouth? Here, let mommy give it to you. So, we put it in back carry mode. Start with child and carrier facing inward. And with one hand at a time, loosen both shoulder straps. With left hand, cradling the child, slide your right arm out of there. And then slide the left arm under the shoulder strap. We move you around. Yeah, so now you're on my hip. You're securely on my hip. Okay. And then now you're on my back. Secured by my left hand, I loop my right arm through here, and then the same with this one. Look at this, that one's okay. You like it? Fix that one, take that out. <laughs> Got both out, huh? I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. So she is in, she feels very secure. Her legs are up here. She doesn't feel like she's going anywhere. It's nice and secure, huh? Do you like it? Are you happy? I'm kind of worried that she could press that with her hand though. Okay guys, so thank you so much if you got this far in the video. It means the absolute world to me. If you like this video, if you found it useful at all, then make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll try to do more product demos and reviews and stuff because people seem to like those on my channel. So if that's what you like, make sure to let me know um, and subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me and Ava. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.